Hey there, YouTubers. All right. So was hoping to give you guys a comparison video between the i310 100f, the i312 100f, and the i5 13 400f in a couple of different games. Goal was going to show you uh, FPS average between them, temps uh, to be max and average, and then, uh, you know, a maximum power draw. It's going to use the stock cooler, Intel stock cooler. This was going to be featured on the Gigabyte B760M-DS3H, and you might see why in a little bit why I crossed that out. Graphics card uh, that I paired up with this was EVJ RTX 2060 12 gig model. Now RAM. Originally I started this whole thing, G Skills 3600 megahertz, 32 gigs with that. Was running fine with the i3 13100F. Well, eventually I switched that out with the i3 12100F. Couldn't get any faster than 3000. So I said, what the hell? Let's try, uh, you know, some Viper 4133. Let's see if that'll run. Could only manage 4,000. Now you'll see the G skills with 32 gigs. Viper was 16. And so, you know, right there, um, once I started messing with the RAM, this thing did not become uh, something you could really compare. So we're going to have a bunch of columns and data. Really hard to draw a conclusion from all this except for uh, I think this Gigabyte B760M DS3H board, H motherboard sucks. Uh, definitely don't recommend it. And, uh, you know, maybe it's the CPUs, but I'm going to blame the uh, the motherboard, right? Because in my Eris, I don't have any of these issues that I'm having. You know, Gigabyte owns Eris, but... Uh, Whatever reason, this cheap motherboard, things are not going so great. Let's go ahead and look at uh, the first comparisons. All right, so World War Z, you know, this has a built-in benchmark. I should have grabbed a couple other games with built-in benchmarks, but making these kind of videos, folks, is very time-consuming. And you've got to do it, honestly, you know, maybe not in the exact same day. But you don't want these things to drag out because BIOS revisions change. All kinds of things could get updated. And next thing you know, um, things you know don't make a lot of sense. Um, and in this case, things don't make a lot of sense. Uh, all right. So looking at this, what we have is the CPU. And you can see across the top what the CPU is. All right. We did manage to use three CPUs. Three, three different configurations of RAM. All right. Then uh, BIOS. Somewhere in here, I actually updated the BIOS, hoping it would fix some problems. All right. So I even put that in here for you guys. Now, what were we tracking? FPS average, which is given to us by the benchmark. Average temp. Max temp and max power. I used Intel's XTU um, to get that information. All right, so to set this thing off, I started with the i3-13100F. It managed 80 FPS. Max temp was 68 with an average of about 63. And the max power was 51 to 53. So this is a little suspicious, you know. Looking at these numbers, uh, these are some of the highest temps and the highest wattage, but the FPS uh, sucks in comparison to everything else, right? Now, the thing is, when I was doing this, it seemed like, oh, okay, it worked. We'll move on. So I install i3-12100F in here into the Gigabyte B760M DS3H. FPS average goes up 12 FPS. Average temp drops 22. 
Max temp drops 14 and power usage is way down too. So one thing I had wondered, well, did I not install the CPU cooler very well? Little too freaking late to find that out, right? I'm, I'm thinking I didn't because when I pulled it off, um, you know, the thermal paste was spread. And if you watch the video where I do the installation, uh, you can clearly see that the uh, underside that uh, those protrusions have poked through and everything is the way you would want it to be. All right, so somewhere in there I get this great idea. Let me try some faster RAM, see if we see an improvement. And FPS is the same. Average temp goes up, max temp goes up, max power drops. Now, folks, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, unless the room was cooler. That's the only way to explain that, except for um, these first three were done at the same exact time of the day, right? And, and honestly, outside, it's, it's high 20s, uh, Fahrenheit, that is. Um, in the basement's a little cool, right? But if anything, the room started to heat up a little. And so I don't, I don't necessarily see um, what's going on here. But interesting enough, you know, FPS stays the same. Well, you would hope that switching out with an i5-13400F would make more of a difference here. Um, definitely a huge improvement over what I had for the i3-13100F. And you can see right here, FPS 91, average temp 36. So, so far the lowest temp that we've seen, max temp, or excuse me, lowest average and lowest max temp. Um, not the lowest power draw, but uh, not bad. So this was interesting. And, you know, honestly though, I, I figured, gosh, this has got to beat this 92. So I'm thinking, well, maybe there's something wrong with this motherboard. Um, so I decided to do a BIOS update, updated the BIOS to, uh, from F1 to F2 Delta. And, you know, same thing with the 4,000 megahertz Ram run it again, 91 FPS average goes up, average temp goes up, max temp goes up and the max power, um, drops. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but whatever. Go figure that out. It's either the motherboard or CPUs. You know, I don't know. So I decide, hey, let's go back to the original RAM. And I think there's a little mistake here. Sorry. Went back to the original RAM. Ran that at 3,600 megahertz. FPS average, 91. Average temp down. Max temp down, max power goes up. Go figure. What can, can you conclude from this, folks? Uh, yours truly either doesn't know what the hell he's doing or there's something fishy going on here. Now, what is the fishy thing? Is it the motherboard or one of these CPUs? Well, the fact that both 13th gen CPUs sucked in comparison to the weak ass i3-12100F Makes me want to blame the motherboard, all right? Maybe, maybe not. But I can tell you what, this motherboard's not going to last long on this channel. Um, I will probably not use it ever again after this video. All right, so Fortnite benchmarks. Now, if you guys know this, there is replayed mode in Fortnite. Um, I used to play the game where I would land in the same place and track FPS that way. Run the same course, basically. And you could do a side-by-side, -side and they almost would line up. But that, you know, isn't very accurate um, because there could be other things that happen, day, night time, whatever. So... What's the other thing? Well, uh, replay mode inside... Fortnite, and honestly, it has its own issues, but um, 
I don't know if we can blame any of that on what we see here. So ran 1440p competitive using DX12. Replay mode, like I said. And in this game, I finished fourth place. I had six kills. Um, and you should have had seven kills. Probably should have ended up in first, but whatever. Regardless, a decent game, right? Only way it would have been better is if I pulled up one of my first place games with more kills. And uh, we went with that. But overall, I think this was a good demonstration. Once again, the CPUs. We have the i3 13100F, i3 12100F, and the i5 13400F. And then we have our RAM, different setups there. All right, so starting off, i3 13100F, FPS average, 194. CPU utilization, 48%. Average temp, 53. Max temp was 66. Max power draw, 50 to 52 watts. So... This is where it gets a little interesting again. Um, swap this out with the i3-12100F. In case I didn't mention it, I had some troubleshooting to do because guess what? It did not like 3600 megahertz RAM. It uh, fought me on that, so we had to drop down to 3000 megahertz. Run replay mode again. FPS average 194. CPU utilization goes up, which you would expect, right? This is a weaker CPU in comparison to the GPU. Average temp went up 55, max temp 62, um, which was lower than the other one. But overall, the power went down. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Now, I decide, like I said earlier, to try the faster RAM. We squeaked out one FPS higher. CPU utilization was slightly less. Average temp was 57. Max temp 68. Um, and this did not cause too much of an increase in the max power. From there, switched out to the i5-13400F. 16 gigs, 4,000 megahertz RAM. FPS 188, what the hell? Is this Gigabyte or Intel? Why did this happen to me? CPU utilization, 30%, which makes sense, right? You got a more powerful CPU. You would expect that to drop and that the GPU percentage, you know, which isn't shown here, probably uh, would rise. Average temperature, 56. What is it? You know, more cores on this thing. Max temp, 68. Max power. So it ended up using more power. Well, then I said, hey, I need to go back to 32 gigs, 3600 megahertz. Crash. And then another crash. So at that point, folks, I give up. Um, this is all I have for a comparison. It doesn't really tell you shit. Um, except that this, gig, this mother bard sucks. I'm going to have to say... Uh, I really honestly feel like that is the problem. If I find the free time, I will use a much better motherboard. Uh, one of my two Eris ones or even the Gigabyte UD Z790 AX uh, or AC, whatever it is. One of those will probably be better to rerun this. That is if I even hold on to this i3-13100F. Um, so... There you go. Sorry if you were hoping to get something better out of this and get more educated. Uh, hate to disappoint you all, but uh, this is as good as it's going to get for the time being. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.